What's up guys, Michael here, back with another video, and it's a fresh new episode of my favorite series on YouTube, Is It Worth It?, where I check out relatively inexpensive products that you might not expect to be very good, but turns out to be a real gem. The Blue Deal T4 Generation Superior Version. Now these are $60 Bluetooth headphones. Now I'm a big fan of Bluetooth headphones where I'm traveling or where I'm exercising. The convenience of having Bluetooth, not having those wires, not have to fiddle around with those tangled wires, I think that's why most people prefer Bluetooth headphones over wired headphones. Now, believe it or not, you can actually get some pretty decent sound out of cheap Bluetooth headphones. And I know that because I've tried some cheap ones in the past before. So I want to see how these stack up. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Bluetooth 4.2, 57 millimeter drivers, 650 hours of standby time, and 16 hours uh, of music and talk time without the active noise cancelling. So those are pretty long numbers there. Uh, rotatable design, active noise cancelling, remote call, and a rechargeable battery. Okay, pretty cool. And we have on the side here, turbine headphones, a carrying bag, what looks like, a user manual, a 3.5mm audio cable, so that is included, and a Type-C charger. Okay, let's unbox these. Okay, so Blue Dio powerful sound. Oh wow, look at that unboxing experience. Wow. And this is what you get for your $60. Alright, the headphones itself here, pretty nice. Um, we also have in the box the accessory, and I believe this includes the. Okay, so yeah, this would be the Type C. Uh, audio cable so that is included for those devices that doesn't use Bluetooth so you have that option and we also have in here I believe the charging cable uh, yep so type C to type C I believe no type C to USB to charge these headphones and we also have a carrying bag not really a case here pretty cool all right and that is all you get and here we have a little instruction manual we have. Alright, so that is all you get. So these are the headphones themselves. My initial reaction, you know what? These feel pretty substantial. I like this sort of coating here. Let me feel that. Ooh, smooth. Oh, one more here. I like this sort of fake metal uh, plastic on the side here. We have this sort of button, I'm not sure what that does. We'll have to check that out. So the ear cups swivel. You've got buttons. You have your, I believe, uh, to skip track here. Or sorry, for a volume here, up and down. Uh, you have your Type C uh, charging port to charge this. And here you have your volume buttons or to skip track. And we have this guy here, which I found out is the active noise cancelling. So basically, if you switch it off, uh, maybe you want to be aware of your environment, so you have that switch up. But when you switch it on, then you're in some other dimension, zoning out your music. So that's pretty cool. Here. Okay, let me try these on. Hmm. Comfortable, lightweight. I'm a big fan of lightweight headphones. Wow. I would say a medium size fit, maybe? Okay, so we have to pair these now, and I'm wondering how you would do it, because I don't see an on-off button, so I might have to consult a manual for this. Alright, manual. Okay, let me see, how do you set these up? Power on, when your headset is up, press and hold the NF button until you hear power on and you will see the blue light blinks. Okay, the NF, MF button. I'm wondering what that is. Um, MF. This guy right here? 
Oh, I heard power on here. So it does have juice in that. That's a good sign. Um, okay, I guess it's blinking blue. So that means it's ready to be paired. Okay, blue do tea. Pairing. Okay, pairing completed. It says on the headphones. And it's paired for... Yep, phone audio and media audio. How easy was that? Okay, time to see how these things sound. Wow, these sound super good. I tried to crank all the volume all the way up and I just couldn't do it. It's just too loud. Which I think is something really good because another Bluetooth headphone, both of them, uh, when you crank it all the way up, it's still not that loud. And with these, I can assure you, they get super loud if you need them to. Uh, these are just really good. The bass is there, the music is super clear, there's no static uh, noise in the background which I think is super, super important when you're listening to music or doing any sort of video editing with headphones. Um, but yeah, overall, this is worth it. To definitely, for $60, you really can't go wrong with these. I mean, I think these could easily be some of the higher-end players in the uh, headphone game. And I'm looking at you, Apple. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, these are super good. The build quality is terrific. You really can't go wrong with these guys. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this content, consider subscribing. Leave a like below, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. See ya.